Hello students. Today I am going to discuss about the concept of reflection and refraction. So in this lecture we will discuss about the laws of reflection and refractions. So let's start this lecture. So what is reflection basically? What is reflection? Reflection is a basically a bending of a light into a same medium when it strikes the surface of other medium. Suppose this is the mirror and light is coming that ray we are studying about the ray of a light so that this ray is called incident ray when it strikes the surface of other medium it is reflected back into the same medium so this ray is called reflected ray right and there is an axis perpendicular to the surface of at which it strikes. That is called normal axis. This is the normal axis. So angle between incident ray and the normal ray is called angle of incidence. And the angle between normal and the reflected ray is called angle of reflection. So there are two laws in reflection. First law says that all the rays, that is incident ray, normal ray, and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane and second law says that angle of reflection that is equal to angle of reflection so that is important for us that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is the second law of reflection which you which is useful for us that in a case of reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so now we'll discuss about the reflection See, when a light passes from one medium to another medium, it deviates it from its path. That is called refraction. To understand that refraction phenomena, that why do light deviates from its path? It will deviate towards the normal or away from the normal. So, a medium is characterized by a term called refractive index. So, let's see first, what is refractive index? Refractive index denoted by mu. This is defined as a that refractive index of certain medium is defined as the speed of light speed of light in air or vacuum to speed of light in that medium speed of light in that medium light has a different speed in different medium see if that medium has a higher refractive index speed will be less because speed of light in air is constant that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second but speed of light in medium is different refractive index is inversely proportional to the speed of light in medium so a medium which has high value of refractive index the speed of light will be less if refractive index is more, speed of light will be less in that medium and that medium which has high refractive index that is called denser medium and the medium which has less value of refractive index that is called rarer medium. See maximum speed of light is in air so maximum value of refractive index can be equal to 1 because speed of light in air is maximum it cannot go beyond that it will be less than this. So, medium which has high value of refractive index, suppose we have two medium, medium A has a refractive index mu A, medium B has a refractive index mu B. If mu A is greater than mu B, then this is called denser medium and this is called rarer medium. So, medium which has high value of refractive index is referred as denser medium. Speed of light will be less in a denser medium. In case of rarer medium, as compared to denser, so refractive index is less and the speed of light will be more compared to speed of light in denser. So now we will discuss about refraction. Refraction is the deviation of a light from its path when it travels from one medium to another medium. Suppose this was our incident ray. Right, it will deviate, uh, it will not go straight into the other medium. Suppose this is air, this is glass or some other medium, this is water or glass. 
वन मीडियम टू अनदर मीडियम वी आर कंसीडरिंग दिस इज एज मीडियम वन दिस इज मीडियम टू तो लाइट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस मीडियम एंटर्स इनटू दिस मीडियम बट इट विल नॉट गो स्ट्रेट इट विल डेविएट अवे फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल और टुवर्ड्स फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल इफ दिस मीडियम इज केस वन इफ दिस इज डेंसर केस वन मींस दिस इज रेयरर मीडियम एंड दिस इज डेंसर मीडियम Suppose this is medium one mu one. This has a refractive index mu two. So denser, I am calling this denser means mu two. Refractive index of this medium is more than refractive index of medium one. So light will deviate in case of denser medium. Light bends towards the normal. This is our incident ray. This is normal. So when light travels from rarer to denser, it deviates towards the normal. But case two, if light travels from, suppose this is medium one having refractive index mu two, this is medium two having refractive index mu two. When the light propagates from, now this time first case we saw that this was rarer, this is denser. Now reverse, this is denser and this is rarer medium. Means refractive index of mu one is. More than refractive index of medium two. So when light travels, this is the normal, right? This is our incident ray. When denser light travels from denser to rarer, it deviates from its path. It will not go straight. It will bend away from the normal because the speed has a different light has a different speed in different medium. So it deviates from its path. So when it moves. From into denser medium, it bends towards the normal. When it enters into rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. So there is one law in refraction that is called Snell's law. So what is this Snell's law? Let's discuss. So let's start Snell's law. So what is Snell's law? See, when a light enters from one medium to another medium, we saw that it will deviate from its path. This is our incident ray. And this is our normal, so it bends away from the normal or towards. It will not go straight path. It will deviate from its path. That this is called refracted ray, refracted ray, and this is called incident ray. And the axis perpendicular that is called normal perpendicular to the surface. See, this is medium one having refractive index mu one. This is the medium two having refractive index mu two. This is called angle of incidence. The angle between incident ray and normal, and this angle is called refracted angle. The angle between normal and the refracted ray. So, what is Snell's law? Snell's law say, said that mu one sine i sine of angle of incidence that is equal to a mu two sine r. R is the angle of refraction. So, mu one sine i that is equal to mu two sine r. This is Mu one is the refractive index of medium one. Mu two is the refractive index of medium two. So mu one sine i that is equal to mu two sine r. See, there is one more term that is called relative refractive index. What is relative refractive index? This term two raised to one. This is read as refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one. So this is defined as refractive index of Refractive index of medium two with respect to medium with respect to refractive index of medium one. So this is defined as refractive index of medium two divided by refractive index of medium one. Right. So it is read as the refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one. So refractive index of medium two with respect to air divided by Refractive index of medium one with respect to air. So we will derive one formula from Snell's law. We saw that mu one by mu two that is equal to me. See, this will come denominator, so this will go here. That is equal to sine sine r by sine i. Now, when we define the definition of a refractive index. Refractive index is defined as the speed of light in air to the speed of light in vacuum. Means refractive index is inversely proportional to velocity. 
So here it will come out to be if we divide these two refractive index is inversely proportional to velocity. So this will become v2 by v1. v2 is the velocity in medium 2, v1 is the velocity in medium 1. Now from relation that see what is the relation between velocity and a wavelength? See mu what is c by lambda mu equal to c by lambda? Velocity is directly proportional to wavelength mu equal to c by lambda. If frequency is constant then the speed that is speed is or the velocity is directly proportional to lambda. So this velocity v2 by v1 that will come out to be lambda 2 by lambda 1. So we will use this formula in case of solving the numerical. So this is the Snell's law and also we will use this relation mu1 by mu2 that is equal to v2 by v1 equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. V2 is the velocity in medium 2, V1 is the velocity in medium 1. Lambda 2 is the wavelength of a light in medium 2. Lambda 1 is the wavelength of a light in medium 1. So we'll, in the next class we will discuss about the numericals based on this.